in this lecture we will learn about integration and what it really means so we will be concerned about what integration means so integration its first meaning which we will take is the area under a curve okay so we will look at integration in terms of area under a curve and it beautifully explains why integration gives us the area under the curve okay so this is a curve let's say this is y is equal to fx is a curve and we want to find the area under this curve from x is equal to a from here to x is equal to b we want the area under the curve so this whole region we want the area okay so how to find this we will use integration okay so let's see so as discussed if we integrate from a to b the curve y is equal to fx so this gives us the area under the curve from a to b point a to b so that's there but the most important question in calculus is that everything is derived from limit okay limit is the most fundamental thing in calculus and so we should try to find area under the curve in terms of the limit so let's see what is the area under the curve in terms of limit we have this curve and now i ask you to find it the area it's very difficult so we know the area of rectangle we know the area of square area of a triangle also we know from trigonometry any triangle then area of circle but any curve how to find it out so i will make the question little bit easier for you that is can we approximate the area isn't it can we approximate it i know the area of rectangle so can we approximate it so for example if i tell you that okay this is a rectangle i don't know how to find the area of a triangle so this is a triangle i don't know how to find the area of a triangle but can you i know how to find the area of a rectangle so can we find the area of triangle from knowing the how to calculate the area of rectangle so one thing of course we can do is we can approximate i will divide it this triangle into some small rectangles and then i can find that area and approximately so for example what i do is let's say i will divide it into some rectangle okay so this is a very small piece of rectangle okay and again this is a small piece of rectangle okay so if i find all these small pieces of rectangles the area and sum them up i will approximately give the get the area of the triangle it will be lesser and few areas these portions will be left because these were not covered by my rectangles isn't it but then also it will be very much approximately equal to the area of the triangle similar thing we try to do here this is a curve i divide this part a to b this interval into n equal parts whose size is b minus a by n and this is equal to h the length so each rectangle is now of length h and height is what so height you should know so of course height if we take this rectangle so its height will be f of a what will be the height of this one this is a plus h so this will be f of a plus h this is let's say something like 
a plus h a plus 2h this is a plus 3h so going on like this so we have x0 is a x1 is a plus h x2 is a plus 2h xr somewhere in between is a plus rh and finally xn is a plus nh okay and this if we have a lot of rectangles then the base will become smaller and hence when the number of rectangle tends to infinity h the width of the rectangle tends to zero okay it tends to zero so this way we try to calculate so one thing is this we can choose this rectangle with the height as the left hand point this is another rectangle this is the third one approximately this is the fourth rectangle this way if we do so we will get area approximately equal to the whatever is under the curve but it will be lesser than the curve why because we are getting left with this small area which are not covered by the triangle okay so this area and this is a bigger area that's what not covered by the rectangle then someone can say hey let's take the other height from the other side okay of the curve so we will take height from this place so it will now be larger it will be here it's going to be larger and now we are finding the area by summing up, summing up these rectangles the area will be larger now and it will be larger by how much now every time we are calculating some extra area also so this x is the extra area here this is the extra area okay but now comes the calculus and the concept of limit okay and the concept of limit is so if we are approximating the area so first area was for the rectangle with height equal to the left end point so h into fx0 fx1 plus fx2 plus fxn minus 1 so this gives us the area of taking the rectangles from the left hand point if we take the area of the bigger rectangles so this one from the right hand side i'm taking so it is becoming bigger areas of the rectangle it, the area of the rectangles are bigger than that of the curve so this will give us some bigger area than the actual area this one small sn will give us smaller area this will give bigger area and we get an inequality which is lower case sn is less than area under the curve y is equal to fx and this area in turn is less than the upper case sn okay which is the sum of the rectangles from the right hand side point so what happens now we now apply the limit if n tends to infinity so what will happen if this rectangle now is becoming very smaller so if this rectangle is becoming smaller so this if we take from this side or from this side the extra area or lesser area is now becoming smaller and it's smaller and if we take very small strips so these three areas they become equal and if n tends to infinity all these three areas converge to the actual area under the curve okay so that was the basic thing so if we took this example of rectangle also so let's try to see with a rectangle a triangle basically so in this if i take this big rectangle only this so this area leaves lot of these spaces so it will not be that accurate now i divide this into some smaller areas okay so something like this i take this this very small pieces of rectangle now my approximation will be almost correct okay it will not give me much error because less areas are getting left so we find that if n tends to infinity or the base of the rectangle becomes very small 
then we get the accurate area under the curve by applying the theorem of limit the concept of limit so hence the area under the curve y is equal to fx from a to b is equal to limit h tends to 0 then this is the first rectangle h into fa h into f of a plus f h is the next rectangle third rectangle is h into f a plus 2h and so on and the last rectangle is f a plus n minus 1 h okay so these are the points at which we take the height of the rectangle h is the width of the rectangle where h is now equally dividing it h minus b minus a by n so we can write this as b minus a limit n tends to infinity 1 by n f of a plus f of a plus h to f of a plus n minus 1 h so this gives us the area of the curve area under the curve so we will take a very small example and see so we know that okay this is a trapezium okay so this is y is equal to x it goes like this so this is x is equal to a so this is the area this is a rectangle so this is b minus a this is a triangle right angle triangle and this height is what this is b this is a so this is b minus a this is also b minus a so this area is half into base into height so b minus a whole square plus b minus a into this height is what so let's see okay so this is b minus a and this height is a okay so this height is a so this will be b minus a into a so this is b a minus a square plus if you add this so what we will do is take a common term b minus a so half of b minus a plus b minus a isn't it so what happens so this is half of b minus a plus just a so this is 2a so a plus b into b minus a by 2 which is b square minus a square by 2 based on the area of trapezium okay but now we can also calculate it from our limits the sum we found so it is a to b x dx this is equal to b minus a limit n tends to infinity 1 by n so putting in the formula so we sample at f of a what will it be the function is y is equal to x so f a is a f of a plus h is a plus h f of a plus 2 h is f of a is just a plus 2 h and similarly f of a plus n minus 1 h is a plus n minus 1 h so this way now if we sum these so a is n times so it becomes n a h we take it common and it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 till n minus 1 we sum these integers from 1 to n minus 1 it gives like this and if you calculate this so you will find basically the answer is also half b square minus a square so this shows that we can find the area under the curve using integration and that's what is the fundamental way to calculate the area under the curve so i hope you understand and this is the one application of integration and the basic definition of integration also so i hope you understand this thanks a lot